Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I have here with me the Olympus Pen EPL 10. I want to share my photographs taken with this camera and my experience using it in this video. Let's do this! Here are some important disclaimers. I'm an Olympus visionary and ambassador to the brand. This is not my camera. The Olympus EPL 10 was on loan from OMD World Imaging and I have to return this camera to them after this review. This is not a technical review. I'm not gonna do any analysis or comparisons. I am merely sharing my experience using the Olympus EPL 10 for the past one week shooting in various conditions as a professional photographer. The Olympus Pen EPL 10 was first launched in November 2019. However, it was only made available here locally in Malaysia recently in March 2021. Therefore, I want to take a closer look at this camera. This is an entry-level, beginner-friendly, designed for casual shooters, definitely not for professional use or anything serious. I think this is a fantastic camera to have for those who don't want to think too much, just grab the camera, turn it on and get some shots. I really like how simplistic yet stylish the design of the EPL 10 is. The minimal setup with a single command dial and very few buttons on the camera simply means that this was designed specifically for entry-level users. There is no electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen at the back of the camera can be tilted up or down for low angle and high angle photography. The screen also can be tilted all the way for mirror selfie purposes. At the top of the camera, you do have the pop-up flash built in as well as a hot shoe for external flash. The camera itself, you can take out the lens, you can interchange with any other compatible micro focus lenses, either for Olympus or Panasonic and other various brands. At the heart of the camera is an older 16 megapixel micro four thirds size image sensor, which will guarantee fantastic image quality. Although the Olympus EPL 10 is the lowest level micro focus camera from Olympus, the build quality is excellent. It is made of plastic, but it feels really solid in hand and it's definitely reassuring. There is this leather-like texture that wraps around the camera body. It gives you a very premium feel whenever you use the camera. In terms of handling, I have no issue using the Olympus EPL 10 for long shooting duration. Although the camera is really small, there is a substantial grip at the front of the camera and there is a thumb rest area at the back. This really helped handling and I was shooting a live musical show in the theatre for about two hours using the camera non-stop. I have no issue, I don't have any strain, I don't feel any pain or discomfort in any parts of my body whatsoever. Of course, I highly recommend that you use the Olympus EPL 10 with the smaller lenses from Micro Four Thirds system. I'm very, very happy with the image quality that comes out from this Olympus Pen EPL 10. Although it was using the older 16 megapixel micro focus image sensor from previous generation, I still get images that I'm happy with even for today in 2021. I get images that are sharp, full of fine details and good contrast with very good colors, dynamic range. I can recover highlights and shadow regions very, very easily. And of course, even the low light performance is very, very good. I went to Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Center, KELPAC. They've just reopened the doors. I caught a show, a live musical in a theater. The 
stage was dimly lit and there was fast action, there was dance going around, everything is moving very, very fast. Yet the camera performed flawlessly. I paired the EPL 10 with the 40 to 150R, not the Pro Lens. It is just a basic telephoto zoom and I still can get plenty of good results, very good hit rates, the autofocus in low light work flawlessly and I had to go up to ISO 6400, sometimes even 12,800 and 25,600 to freeze the action. Uh, is there noise in images? Yes, of course, but are they destructive? No. I think the noise is there, yes, it's present, but the structure of the image is still there, the color is still well preserved, the details are still there, and I'm generally very happy with the high ISO images from the EPL 10. It is not perfect, I wouldn't recommend you to go beyond 6400, 3200 is no problem, but generally, if you want results, I think anyone will be happy with the EPL 10. Having shot the live musical show in the theatre in Kuala Lumpur Performing Arts Centre made me realise that what this Olympus EPL-10 can do far surpasses anything from the smartphone, even the most expensive flagship smartphone cameras today. Now hear me out, here are my three reasons why. Reason number one autofocus. When you look at smartphones, there's all kinds of lag. The display itself is lagging. What you see on the screen is already lagging behind what's happening in real life. The autofocus is unreliable, especially in dim light, and then there is that shutter lag. Combining all these lags, it's just impossible to nail the moment. That's not the case with this EPL-10. The autofocus is instantaneous, and I was only using the lowest level micro photos camera from Olympus. This is an entry-level camera paired with a non-pro lens, a basic telephoto zoom lens, and yet I can get extremely high hit rate. Reason number two, reach. Most smartphone cameras, even the flagship cameras, have wide-angle lenses. Some of them claim to have telephoto lens, but the reach is not as far as what you can do with a true telephoto lens. This is where the EPL-10 wins. If you want the lens or the camera to do a different purpose, just change to the right lens. For example, in this case, I was using the 40 to 150R, I can zoom it all the way to 150, which is a 300 mm equivalent, giving me plenty of reach. Yes, there are certain smartphone cameras today that can go like 10 times zoom, 100 times zoom, but seriously, the quality of the lens in comparison with Olympus lens, there is just no comparison. And reason number three, high ISO. There is just no comparison. Some will argue that, oh, you know, smartphones, they have this smart AI noise reduction night mode thing. But seriously, I was shooting stage. Everyone is dancing. All the actors are constantly in motion, nothing stays still for too long. You can't just use your smartphone, hold it still for two seconds, it captures nothing. And when it comes to using high ISO, the ISO 400 or 800 on a smartphone, the images are already so bad. The ISO 400 is as bad as the ISO 6400 on the Olympus EPL-10. Don't make me do another comparison to prove this. Trust me, I've done so many tests on smartphone cameras and dedicate the cameras to make this conclusion. If you go to ISO 800 or ISO 1600 on smartphone, it is as bad as ISO 12800 or 25600 on the Olympus EPL-10. There is just no contest. The EPL-10 wins when it comes to low light shooting and high ISO performance.
who is this Olympus Pan EPL 10 made for? I believe it is made for casual shooters, those who don't want a camera to be huge and bulky, those who want the cameras to be as small as possible, something portable and tiny that is easy to carry around for travel or everyday use. Something that still performs far surpassing what a smartphone camera can do, delivering fantastic results and DSLR level image quality. This is what the EPL 10 really is. That's all I have to share about the Olympus Pan EPL 10. I hope you've enjoyed this short review and look at my photographs. If you do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way and will help me to continue making videos like this and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.